Chobotali, but to some degree, yes. So it's not so easy to get this 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 this, this distinction. This distinction. It's a, this is not approachable because I understand, I experience by myself. It is approachable to uh, um, let's tell heal the lifelong fear of flying in five minutes through the technique, and then life changes about the flying. It's no more fear. So it is possible that intellect can heal to some degree subconscious Yes, yeah, definitely. That is there. Yeah. That is always there. Yes. See, what the I so, is trying to tell us is, it is just the knowledge mm -hmm. that I have no work with respect to my psychological structure. That is a great knowledge yes, that can do wonders with your emotions. Because yes. it will be there initially, that's what, this has to sink in. Once you know this route, Mm -hmm. And next time you can even somebody can tie up, you will definitely come here. Like that, it will solve. It will solve your this intellect aspect. It will solve your emotions. It will solve everything. Don't have to. You have to. Don't doubt about it. There's no. There's no no doubt whether it is right or wrong. Some you are coming hundred meters, then you have my own doubts. Then you will have to go back and again come. See, you never in land up here. Like that, you don't have a doubt about it. I think there's a fundamental question that is being Yes. The fundamental question is here, I agree with what you are saying, which is that uh, we have control over the intellect, we don't have control over the subconscious. Yes. And subconscious throws up whatever into the yes. intellect, into the open consciousness, and we allow freedom to that, yes. thereby transforming the subconscious on its own. Yeah. We are not concerned about that. Yeah. And I think the question that, uh, that is being asked is that if, like him for example, had several blocks yes. as, as a young younger person, emotional blocks, yeah and worked on it through therapy or whatever technique to allow that to express itself. It gives freedom. She was saying that through technique she gets over the fear of flying. Yeah. Right? So the question is, it is possible with some, for example, union therapy allows you to go into the subconscious and many people have done that. So the question is, if, if you have that access, does that give you deeper conviction mm -hmm. when you are able to unlock? In fact, one of the questions I had was, yeah. some people have energetic blocks. Yes. Like I've heard people say, you know, that he has an energy block, he is not able to... And they use past life <coughs> regression, they use hypnotherapy, there's so many techniques that they use to unlock something that is not in your consciousness. So how do, how do you resolve that when there is no... Uh, when there is something deeper blocking you? That's why there's lack uh, of conviction. It's, yeah, it's... But it's a lack but of conviction. Basically, no. lack of conviction, he's saying, is coming because somewhere deep inside he believes no. It's not, it's not true. The best thing is, first thing, you have to accept can, yourself. Can I, can I, can I consider Somebody is accepting you. You have to accept yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, what am I maybe simply trying to say? It, I feel it works for me, the working. But I know, I know it's, it's not what you said, it's not the liberation. Yeah. Okay? But I, for the liberation, you said there was an understanding that it doesn't work, but it doesn't convince me because in a way it still works, you know? Work. So to come to the conclusion that the, the, I cannot do any work in the psychological world, it's hard for me to accept this because my experience shows me that it has some amount, it works in some amount. I'm not saying it's making me happy or liberated or free, but it changes things for... It's hard for me to to understand or to come to the conclusion that there is no work because I don't because it can work in a way. But it, you, you, it needs some effort, no? It needs your effort. It needs, it needs some effort. <coughs> For example, um, when I go you know, along the street, I I look at some unwanted person. And uh, it has some response in my mind. If some unwanted feeling comes, when I see, look at the unwanted person, some enemical person or anybody, uh, and I have some negative feeling in my mind. And we, I go through, and, and, and I go to the place, and uh, but the, the scene is over, but I enter into the new circumstances. Whereas I meet some good friends or anybody, uh, but even though I meet with the new circum meet with the new circumstances, the the 
the thing happened early, the, it, it may have some uh, unconscious work within yourself, and you it may create some energy within yourself, some negative energy within you. So this kind of this this is a kind of suppression. Uh, some something, but you are, but you do not know why it is unnecessarily. I have some adverse feeling within myself because I am. In, we are in a good situation, but even you are in a good situation, some new unwanted feeling, unwanted emotion may be there within your uh, in your in the state of in, in the unconscious state of yourself. You can feel some stress. You may feel some stress. That that the reason for the stress may be. Because you have met early before that situation, you meet there some enemy person. So, but the scene is over. But even though the scene is over, and some some rotation, some feeling may be there in the source of the other happening. So, this kind of registration. So, the many therapists are dealing with this kind of registration. They are not dealing with the the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is not. In the reach of the psychiatrist, uh, this this is a some middle way. So in between the subconscious mind and the conscious mind, some middle statement state is also there. So in that state, some registration is there. So that registration that the psychiatrist may heal, but uh, that is not the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is the root of uh, our character. Nobody can know what is the state of subconscious mind. So nobody can enter. So you can enter through the middle state between the subconscious and the conscious state. So there we can the all healing is process is dealing with the, the middle state. That is not the subconscious mind. So here many suppression may be there, many problem may be there. But whatever is that, um, but if you are consciously uh, plan some effort, uh, we have uh, some yogi processes there. You know. We can do anything. You can create some effort, create some result. That is, that is yogic process. But yogic process is only temporary. It will give you some temporary help. But the, this liberation, it will, the, the, it will uh, in course of time, you will understand the power of the liberation. And uh, if you give total freedom to your mind, that means uh, we should not keep ourselves and keeping the rest in the freedom. We have to total freedom. The the me is also must be in the freedom. The me must I must be keep myself in the bank of the river, and the river must be in the flow. We should that mean <laughs> there should not be any bank <laughs> to for your uh, rest, for your to safeguard yourself. There should be river alone. There should not be any bank <laughs> for our rest. There must be entire river. So it's not freedom for me, it's freedom from me. Uh, no. There is no freedom from me. Uh, yeah. Freedom exactly. alone must be there. Yeah, yeah. No, actually, that, yeah. The, the other thing, Mikhail, is, is that here the discussion is liberation. You were saying you've done these things and they've helped you. Yeah, I understand. And, and, but the discussion here is liberation. So Christian Murray used to talk, I'm sorry, sorry, about being in a prison. And the prison that we're in is our mind. And our ignorance. So we can put a picture up in the wall of the prison. We can put a nice flower in the wall in the prison. We can have, even have air conditioning in the summer in the prison, but we're still in the prison. It may be a more comfortable prison, a nicer prison, but we're still in the prison. So he's talking about liberation here, and you're talking about a different thing. But no, no, he is understanding sure, this fully, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. understands this. Yeah. Yeah. It brings about an intellectual yeah. understanding that yeah. should happen. Yeah. And I'm just but I think, can I get, one, what he's talking about is still part of the external work. Like when, it, when you're trying to solve something, that's still the external work because yeah. it can be solved. With the example you gave of the motorbike that's been destroyed by lightning, there's nothing you can do about it. So surrender can come easily because you know that there's nothing you can do. What are you going to do? Argue with God for sending the lightning. Whereas with the psychological world, that he's talking about, it's, it seems there is things you can do about it. You can go to therapy. So that becomes part of the external world where the intellect comes into its own. But I think what you're speaking about, liberation, is a liberation from any idea of me, any idea of somebody that can be liberated. It's liberated, being liberated from the idea of you. 
So I understand that it's two different things. But because he said there should be some logical understanding that I have no work, this doesn't fit <coughs> for, from this no, thing. We have to come to the conclusion, no, no work is needed. So we have to come to a conclusion. No work is needed for the liberation. No, yeah, even for liberation. So, uh, so liberation we, we expect in the psychological world. So psychological world, if we expect something in the name of liberation or enlightenment, mm -hmm. this is another work. Yeah. <laughs> so we, uh, we, 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 thereby we are place ourselves to be somebody to deal with something. So, for healing there is work, for meditation there is work, for yoga there is work. Yes. So, here so it's not that there is no work, but I'm trying to understand what you said. For the liberation, yes. there is no work. No work. But if I want to do therapy, there is work. There mm -hmm. is. So that is so that that we can consider as an external work, yeah. just like uh, for example, yeah. if you you go if you drink a cup of coffee, you will have some good feeling. So in this way, you may do some meditation, and for there we can have a good feeling. For the, just like an external external work, we can do like this. So now it's more clear for me because it didn't work out for me as a total conclusion that mm -hmm. there is no work. Because sometimes internally there is work. It's maybe not related to liberation. You think you can work? Yeah, yeah. It's, it, you can work as it, as if it were external. Whereas if you want to do therapy or Jungian dream analysis, that's fine. Sri Nagarath is not saying it's wrong, but that's external work. But if you think that there's something wrong with you, and then you have to do that work, then that's not correct. No, you're clear. 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 But, but he's also what said that this is work right now. Inquiry that we're doing yeah. is part of the work until we come to that clarity within ourselves that there's nothing to do. So we have to do that work, which we are doing right now, till till we get to that point where we say, "Hey, there really is nothing to do." So this is the work. I see it also. So it is work. It is work till we do not get clarity, and then it's. <laughs> because, I, because when I look inside, I want to put an effort. It's not that I don't want to make, I want to make effort. I don't know. I know it's not delighted, but there is energy that wants to make effort. So here, we have to live, we have to, we have to be in the state of understanding. So. We have to give importance to the understanding. Yeah. So the, we have to work, we have to come to a conclusion. To that level, we have to stop. <laughs> so after working is not necessary. Working is needed in the external world. But no working is needed in the psychological world. Psychological world, only we have to stop our work till the level of understanding. So for the level of understanding, to reach the understanding, for that we have to work. Mm -hmm. So work is needed up to the level of understanding. For that we can inquire in this and that and come to a conclusion, uh, the matter is over. But uh, external work is not over as we are coming to a conclusion. We have to execute the conclusion, we have to, uh, we have to do something uh, with our conclusion, we have to take anything into account and make use of that. But psychologically, the conclusion itself is the end of everything. You said that bike example, bike has lost. Mm. Now instead of bike, let us assume a Benz car, which I purchased a new Benz car. And it has happened the same thing happened to that car. I lost it. So my mind doesn't agree that yes, what has happened. Is it uh, why that happens only to me? <laughs> why has it happened? I could have parked it somewhere else. The mind goes on replaying that. Let us say I come to this class or I am sitting idle somewhere. My mind goes on replaying that. Why you have kept it there? Why it has happened to you? Correct. So with this understanding or without this understanding, it goes on, it goes on, it goes on. Wherever there is an idol, whenever I am idle, it, it starts playing that. Because I consider that as a very precious one. With this understanding, how will we come out of it? 
or with the understanding, what will understanding make you a better clarity uh, for a person who don't have a clarity. So here we use the example, you see it is purely psychological because the physically no work is needed. Whether it is a Benz car or it is a bike, there is no difference. The matter is uh, purely psychological, no work is needed externally. You cannot do, go along with the... Uh, but if uh, instead of that, if somebody has stolen away your vehicle and you have to trace, some work is needed. You can go to police station. Uh, well, some work is needed. But at the same time, if, we, if it is purely psychological, if it is purely destroyed, uh, no, you cannot go to the police station. You have not uh, insured, you need not claim insurance. So no work is needed. If you are insured, you have to go to the insurance company to claim the insurance. But in no work is there. But purely some, but at the same time, <coughs> some uh, you will be psychologically, you will have some negative feeling. You may have some thought, I might have parked the vehicle in some other place or this or that. You will have some feeling like this. So, so no work is there. For that, whatever happens, let it happen on its own. You have no... You, you should not place yourself in some position to deal with yourself. So you have to put, because you take it as a total thing, it is purely psychological. So if it is purely psychological, no work is needed. So in spite of your understanding some work is happening, let it happen like this. So I should not say that I should not remember this. It's because mind unconsciously plays that, replace the same So, so what game it may take, let it be the natural way, you need not uh, do it a conscious uh, game. So it means we should not stop it consciously, no, I just coming, I am getting worried, I should not replay it, do I need to, I mean the intellect should not uh, instruct the emotional mind, don't play it, so so something you, like that. Now you are uh, expecting something from that, don't expect anything from that. So you, whatever happening is the happening. The, the main thing is that whether it is purely psychological or physical. So if some physical work is needed, you have to take the happening into account. So here if you take the psychological world into account, that means you expect some remedy from that. You expect some salvation, you expect some peace of mind there. So the, not necessary, that, uh, that, it, that creates problem then you are against your mind. <clears throat> so here, you, the, the main thing is that it is purely psychological. If you understand, that is enough. And you, then you dismiss yourself. The personality which is taking all this thing consciously, if something consciously, then you can dismiss yourself, then no work is needed. That alone is enough. But if it is happened unconsciously, it doesn't matter. We allow flow to happen. It, it, no, allowing. No, it's like inside. Yeah. It is not allowing the understanding. Yeah. So I'm saying the flow, your feelings come, emotions yeah, yeah. come, whatever comes inside. Um, does that also reflect, uh, manifest in how experiences come and go? Um, just as feelings come and go, thoughts come and go, whatever comes and goes. Other than whatever your identity based duty may be. So mm -hmm. I am Ramesh, I have a, you know, children, I have some duties to perform. Other than that, do, or, or even within that, experiences also will flow as, as the thoughts flow, experiences also will flow like that. So the that experience right? mean, or experience means actually psychological thing alone is the experience, but the external happening, the external happening also in the flowing state, but we have to choose. So we cannot allow the happening external world, let it happen on this flow. We have to, to that possible extent, we have to do the correct thing. For example, if somebody is stolen away your property, you let it, you allow, don't allow it. You, you catch the thing, you have to restore the thing, you have to do something. You need not allow the thing as it take its own course. You have to change the course uh, to suitable to what is suitable to you. But at the same time, if some psychological thing happen, we have no, we have no necessity to control anything. So, Swamiji, uh, if I become aware that
that I'm consciously interfering. Um, so I'm uh, as a, a counter action, I think you call it. So I feel sorrow, I can see a reaction to sorrow, I don't want to feel sorrow, and then I start getting involved. How can I change it? Uh, what do I well, what, what do I do then? <laughs> I can't say that. Um, when I notice I'm consciously getting involved, uh, what is the approach? Consciously involved in psychologically? Yeah. So here I'm interfering. So the, when the internet so there is no classification or intellect. So everything is mind. So here there is no involvement, conscious or unconscious involvement. So when it is purely understand, it is purely psychological, we cannot classify into conscious involvement or unconscious involvement. You have to take when the, when you divide everything is psycho, purely psychological, then you can dismiss even conscious and unconscious involvement. So whatever happens, let it be the unconscious let it be unconscious. Even the conscious involvement also can be considered as unconscious involvement. There is no point in being uh, aware, in, in a way, to to the inner, uh, for example, uh, because a lot of the habits that mm. going on the external world are a result of the uh, habits in the thinking mind, in the in my uh, experience, in the in the inner, and you say uh, leave it, uh, mm. keep it unconscious, all the inner. And from my experience, it's uh, just noticing it or being aware of it uh, is maybe help uh, change ha habits. Or uh, so there is no need to change any habits. There is no point in noticing in being aware of what happening. So it is uh, some yogic process alone. As a therapy or some yogic practice, you can apply it like this. You can aware of something, you can concentrate upon something. So it is just for a beginning, you can be like that. So afterwards, what I mean by liberation, we should not have any concern over the psychological function. We have to simply put down the psychological work. There should not be any portion of yourself to do some work. So whether you are doing it consciously or unconsciously, you are in a helpless position. No, nothing you are, nothing is in your hand. So everything is happen on its own. You are so here. You are not having any room for yourself. So psychological world is concerned. It is natural. So that alone is done. Whether it is psychological or external. So external alone you are somewhere. You can you can uh, you can construct yourself to be somebody and do something.